What's up guys, today's video is presented by EA Game Changers. Massive thanks to EA for inviting me to the World Cup Capture event. Hey what up guys, how you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to another FIFA 18 Ultimate Team World Cup mode video. So today I've got some gameplay for you and I've got a squad builder for you as well. Gonna go for a super team. Uh, now as you guys know from the loads of pack opening videos that I put up a few days ago, uh, we had pretty stacked clubs by the end of it and, and you know we had lots of players at our disposal so I figured I would put a nice team together uh, from South America and Europe with some icons linking in the middle uh, and then we will uh, go into a couple of games and I'll show you some of the, the clips that I was able to get with the team so if you do enjoy hit me with that thumbs up button don't forget to do that don't forget to subscribe share this video all around and I do hope you really enjoy the video today guys I started off in goal with 91 rated De Gea who was without a doubt the best goalkeeper on World Cup mode for me and for Bateson and for lots of other uh, like YouTubers and stuff that were there at the event. He was kind of unstoppable. Cannot wait to try and pack him when the full game comes out for all of us. Now moving into the mid, uh, into the defence, not the midfield, um, we got someone who plays like a midfielder sometimes, Danny Alves. So we have a, have a South American right back here. He's 86 rated with 85 pace, 86 uh, dribbling. And then the rest of the stats are pretty good, but not amazing for a fullback. Uh, we then have Jordi Alba on the left-hand side. 93 pace, 82 dribbling, 81 defending. Uh, a little better suited for, for being like someone that gets up and down the wing, but actually can defend as well. And he's slightly less attacking, in my opinion, than someone like Danny Alves is. Uh, a link into him, we have the 90 rated Sergio Ramos. Now, he's probably going to get used so often because he just looks amazing. 76 pace, 89 defending, 83 physical. He's six foot tall, high medium work rates. He's not the greatest for a centre back. You know, you want them to stay back, help defend, don't push up too far, and outstay your welcome in the midfield or the attack. Um, but you know, at least he's got the, the dribbling and the three star skills and weak foot at his disposal if that is going to happen. Um, now to level out the defence a little bit, I've gone with an icon. I've gone with the new icon, Bobby Moore, uh, the England legend. Of course, won the the World Cup up with England 1966 I mean I wasn't alive to experience that I was uh, I'm not that old Come on, guys. Give me a break. But 92 rated Bobby Moore. 68 pace. 78 dribbling, which is really good for a defender. Uh, he's also got 93 defending and 85 physical and good passing as well. I fear that people will just look at that pace stat and be super worried. Um, just give him a chance because he actually was very solid in my team today. Only managed to play a couple of games at the capture event with this squad. However, was very, very impressed. We then have N'Golo Kante making his way into the team. Uh, CDM for me. 88 rated, you know, he's got 82 defending, 84 physical. He is going to be buzzing around that, that sort of edge of your defense into your midfield all game long, helping you out, getting those interceptions, blocking, tackling, all of that type of stuff. Uh, really, really rated him on, on Fuck World Cup within the gameplay side of things. Paulinho, 87 rated on this game. That was sort of unexpected. I, I didn't think that was coming, uh, but stats wise, looks real good. And then we have Paul Pogba, actually lower rated, but then some of the stats there look better in my opinion. Um, Paulinho might be slightly better suited for an all-rounder, um, but I know that Pogba's always got like a long shot in him. I know he's got the five-star skills, the physical's really high and stuff, so that'll work for me. Uh, and then I've saved the best three till last. You know, we've gone for uh, three pretty awesome attackers here today. So to bring in a South American icon, uh, we've gone for Pele. Uh, as you guys know, I packed the 98 rated Pele. I didn't really see anyone else in the capture event do that. Uh, so like, am I the only one that had this this player at his disposal uh 95 pace 96 dribbling 96 shooting 93 passing oh my god five star skill moves uh i really enjoyed him for the brief time that i was able to use him uh, and i cannot wait to try my very best to get my hands on this guy uh, i'm sure i'm gonna spend a lot of coins on my main account trying to make that happen um so miroslav closer is the topic of a lot of discussion lately that rating 87 overall he's the world cup leading goal scorer of all time should he be higher does this base himself on like the final world cup that he had where yeah he scored the goals and stuff but was a slightly older gentleman playing his last world cup who knows how it's based um i wanted to stick him in the squad nonetheless today and give him a shot alongside 95 rated cristiano ronaldo because if closer didn't quite work out for us then at least i know that i was probably going to end up scoring goals with cristiano um 95 rated striker, 90 pace, 92 shooting. Those are his in-games, you know, like it, it, 
that that that's all there is to say really you know a pretty solid all-rounder who's gonna work i mean you could play him at cam he's got good passing you want to play him up front though that's for sure you want to get the most out of him uh, i'm just thinking sometimes obviously people are going to want to play pele slightly further you know, further up the pitch as a striker that's an option for you let's say if we had um anyone else could have been ronaldinho at cam and we could have sw uh, swapped closer out and put pele up front if you wanted to so that's the squad it is now time to go on in and check out some of the goals that I was able to score. Ronaldo plays it through to closer for my first attempt on goal. I felt like he was getting caught up, so I decided to hit it early. It means it didn't end up going in the back of the net. Now, big shout out and big thanks to Bateson for playing me in these games. We are both trying to do different squad builders, so uh, make sure you check out his channel. You'll be able to see like him do the squad builder for the team I'm up against now uh, and all the goals that he was able to get and stuff with that too. So, uh, yeah, make sure you check that out because, you know, he shouted me out a couple of times during the World Cup mode, so I appreciate it, Bates. Uh, but I think I started stronger in these games. Like The first at attempts and stuff, they're, they're mostly mine. I get through Cristiano Ronaldo here, go for the Balassi flick, flick it over the head, knock it in towards Pele. I, I thought maybe I was going to get a little bit more on that so that I could have maybe gone for a volley or something. And then I can't believe this this opportunity. I cannot believe De Gea is able to save that. And that I didn't, like, with the composure of Pele running through on goal, like, I thought that was a complete and utter goal all the all day long. Um, so I'm, I'm, like, squandering opportunities here. I'm missing loads of stuff where I really need to be scoring. And, I mean, that was really nice. A couple of awesome skill moves there to a Pogba volley, but a fantastic save from De Gea. This is what I'm talking about. Mr. Unstoppable. He's really, really good. Um, oh, I mean... <laughs> I just wish the goal had gone in off of that bicey that I just struck. Because that was some that was like a nice fluid move. With the Pele run, with the, the fake Rabona, the wacka wacker, the Rabona cross into the box, uh, and then the, the bicycle kick from the corner and eventually leads to Miroslav closer heading it in. Uh, I guess it was Ronaldo that hit with that bicey, right? That came uh, cannoned off the bar. Uh, but I'll take the goal uh, and lead that means that I can show that whole move in motion, which uh, I, I greatly appreciated and had a lot of fun uh, when I was actually playing with it. Um, so into the second half then I go again for something audacious there with, with Pele and it nearly worked out for me uh, and then I, I hit him with a heel click and a long shot and a great save from De Gea but I was feeling that long shot I really wanted to score something like that especially with Pele because he's prime because he's 98 rated I want to showcase what he can do for you on this game uh, but it turns out it goes down the other end and Basin is able to score a goal with Miroslav closer however we're running we're with Pele we hit him with a Berber spin but I I've still got the ball and look at that for a strike into the back of the net absolute belter from the main man the brazilian 98 rated prime pele uh, that that right there was a, a beautiful strike and um considering how good De Gea is on this game to be able to beat him with a shot of that nature like normally they would just take a step over and parry it wide of the post but he couldn't get near that one lovely strike loads of power uh, maybe paulinho blocking the view a little bit but that is a really nice goal uh, and not gonna lie was extremely happy when that one went in as well uh, and I nearly blunder I nearly blunder with De Gea there it nearly it nearly crept in underneath him uh, to go into the back of the net but I push forward here I go on the counter attack Miroslav Klose plays a perfect ball through to Ronaldo who just gets there uh, ahead of David De Gea and and slots it past him I mean the keeper got a touch to be fair, but I extend my lead to three goals to one, uh, and I'm trying to show you slightly more extended highlights, not literally just the goals and stuff that I've scored that I would normally do in a squad builder, because I know that you guys are itching to see actual gameplay and like build up play and all of this type of stuff, just the graphics of it all, the way the goals go in, uh, and that was what we were both doing our very best to actually showcase for you guys today, so I do hope you appreciate that, um, there wasn't a whole bunch of time, and it was quite difficult to like time it with other YouTubers. Uh, who were probably doing pack openings and you want to do a squad builder uh, and then you need an opponent but they're not in the same round it, it, it's difficult you know it wasn't the easiest thing uh, for us to, to actually get into online games with each other uh, uh, when people are do busy doing other types of stuff um so in the 90th minute, I bottle it and, and, and concede a couple of goals and Bates ends up drawing with me when I was two goals in the lead and 
Uh, I can't believe that happens. You know, why does he keep doing that to me? He's he's good in the late game, is Bates, and I was I've been pretty strong at the at the beginning of the game. You know, um, I can't believe I didn't score. This is the second game, by the way. Again, me versus Bates and same teams. Uh, I can't believe I didn't score that back post header with Miroslav closer. Uh, but at least I've got to hey in net because he saves that worldie of a, a, a finesse shot from Ronaldinho. Uh, now Cristiano Ronaldo plays it to Azpilicueta, and if that isn't one of the most Miroslav closer goals you've ever seen. I actually really like that goal. Uh, it was a nice bit of play, a lovely ball into the back post. Uh, he timed his run closer really well against the defenders uh, and that low diving header into the back of the net. Absolutely sublime. Uh, but closer plays it into Ronaldo and I go for the audacious. Not for, just for it to be saved once again, you know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to score volleys and cool goals for you guys. Doing my very best. Uh, and then when that happens, I'm doing my very worst because I can't believe I miss an opportunity like that. However, closer to Ronaldo. Ronaldo scoops past, but I see closer running through. Lifted the ball over to him. And that right there is what you tuned in for. A beautiful goal from the German striker. Like... What a scissor kick that is. That an acrobatic strike on the World Cup mode. Um, and of course, I've got a lovely kit on as well. It looks awesome, that green kit. I can't remember exactly which nation it is. Uh, but look at him getting up and rising and getting that, that leg up and, and then banging it into the back of the net. I'll take that one. I mean, that goal counts way more than the goal that Bates scored, surely. Uh, so if we count mine as two uh, and his as one, uh, he's just scored a second, so really it's two all at this point, you know, just based on the the class of the goal but nah, I'm, I'm joking I'm joking um so I go 2-1 down and then he gets through with Ronaldinho and the way Ronaldinho opens up his body and comfortably strikes that on the left foot I love that animation that looks slightly different to anything I've ever seen before and it's just little changes like that within the gameplay that I love you know I love to see stuff like that uh, and I may not have scored the greatest goal right there but it's the 88th minute I'm doing my very best to get back into this match you know this is like tables turn Bates went 3-1 up whereas I went 3-1 up in the other game but I'm having a strong late game here uh, and I'm, I'm pushing through to get my equalizer you know and can we do it right now I get through with Ronaldo I go for the back post chip to Pele who is able to score that lovely volley for me I mean if he'd have missed that I'd have been a bit disappointed knowing that it's such a high rated version of the Brazilian icon uh, and he should be able to deal with volleys like that all day long uh, and it's just too powerful and too accurate for De Gea to actually get a hand to uh, and that is how things ended so I th actually think both both games ended like three all and we both scored some pretty nice goals so um ggs to that one that right there is my super squad builder here on the fuck world cup mode guys i really do hope you've enjoyed if you have thumbs up the video check out all of the other crazy content that i've got going on over the past few days uh exclusive world cup content you know from the capture event massive thanks to ea for inviting me and all of that great stuff thanks so much for watching have a lovely day guys i'll catch you next time peace